Right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel and today's video is going to be one that I didn't want to make and, and, and I thought I would have to make in a long time but here I am. So, news broke around about an hour ago now um, saying that John McLaughlin, our number one goalkeeper who has been our number one for the last two years, has left the club. He will be signing for Scottish side Rangers in the summer for the for at least the 2020 21 season and probably beyond that it's it's a shambles it's a complete utter shambles the way that that this has been dealt with i mean i think i can say, say on behalf of many Sunderland fans that this this was coming i mean i think a lot of people saw this coming and even though apparently you oh know we oh yeah we've, we've um we've, we've given them a contract yeah, give him a contract a week before his current one expires, because that makes sense. And also offer him one when two bigger clubs in Sunderland right now come in for him, those being Rangers and Blackburn. Oh no, but don't, but don't, don't offer him one six months ago, you know, halfway through the season, you know, when will you give all nine that one year extension? Oh no, don't give one to McLaughlin, we'll wait until summer. No, no one's going to come in for him, either. Big fucking whoop, honestly, man. Oh, it's, it's frustrating. Really frustrating. I mean, I mean, he's going to Rangers to what? Start on the bench. I mean, is he going to start Rangers? I mean, obviously, I don't really know who their goalkeeper is. I think it was it Fodderingham. I think he's left. I I don't know what's going to be happening with McLaughlin at Rangers. He might play to what he deserves to play because I mean, Scottish, Scottish Premiership probably the same standard as, as League One. I would say maybe bottom half of Championship if you look if you're generous. But yeah, I mean, it's a big loss. I mean. I would say safely that in the eighteen nineteen season, we wouldn't have been any. We, we wouldn't have been in that promotion race had McLaughlin not been there because so he built us up many many times during that season. And last season, yes, he wasn't as good, but it was still very important to the team. I'll say apart from Chris Maguire and maybe Luke Nine, he's probably our best player last year. And now he's gone for nothing, especially when uh. Well, was it was, was either Jack Cross or Stuart Donald said that he's probably worth about five million? Probably Stuart Donald said he was worth about five million pound, and then we'll let it go for free. It's an absolute, it's a, it's atrocious, absolute, it's an absolute shambles. Once again, another error coming out of fucking Stuart Donald's tenure or something, which unfortunately at the moment doesn't look like it's going to end anytime soon, because there hasn't been any properly confirmed. People interested. I mean, apparently we're hearing for months and weeks now that apparently there's people interested. But I mean, are we gonna believe them? I mean, um, yesterday um, Chris Coleman was on the Rook Report, and apparently um, Methven and uh, obviously two years ago when Coleman was sacked, Methven said that him and Donald had nothing to do with it. But apparently, according to Chris Coleman, they did. So that's annoying. And. Yeah, I mean, I'm literally just look. I'm on, I'm on my phone now. I've gone back onto the retainers because earlier this morning, the Sunderland retain list was brought out. I'm looking at it now, and as it stands, we've only got 15 first team players. 15. That's just barely enough to make a start at 11 and four substitutes. It's an absolute disgrace. And out of those 15, it's fair to say that that two of them might not be here. One of those being Aid McGeady. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't care less if he left. Not in all honesty, I know that a lot of Sunderland fans probably just scream at that one, but I couldn't give a crap if he left. He doesn't care about us. He can fuck off for all I care. I knew one being Tom Flanagan. Now Flanagan is the other person who has, when offer has been made for new contracts, but has been reported again today that there are three championship clubs looking to buy Flanagan. Those being Wigan, Birmingham, and newly promoted Coventry. So obviously, in Flanagan, you know what? Am I going to stick around for what could be a complete shit show next year at Sunderland? Or could I go and play championship football for at least a year with one of these clubs? You know, get make some more money. I don't know what I would do. So so, so then, so then take, take away them two, that's 13. Let's out those 13. I can safely say at least two of those players won't be getting first team action next year. Well, well, well sorry, Sunderland 11 action. Or, 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 or should I say three. Those three being Conor McLaughlin, who is probably the biggest waste of space I've seen out of a right back for for quite a while. I know it's probably weird, but I've actually had some pretty good luck with right backs, I would say, over the years. I mean, obviously, Phil Bardsey, DeAndre Yedlin, um, Adam Matthews, Luke O'Neill at the minute. 
But um, it's only really been Billy Jones. I mean, Billy Jones, I was wondering because we were in the Premier League and he's obviously wasn't Premier League quality. Obviously, that'd be obvious because he was obviously playing League One last year. Um, who else is there? Grant Ledbetter, I mean, he turns 35 this year, in January next year. So he's not going to be able to, so he, he's not, he's not going to be able to play 46 games this season. And the third one being Will Grigg, who apparently, who again, might not be here next year. Just because Phil Parkinson again doesn't want him because he's a he's a waste of space. So so, so then t- t- ten with them three, that's ten. Ten first team players who have got any sort of quality, and we've only got one centre back, one that being Jordan Willis. Now, if we do sign Billy Wright on a on a on a three, so which I think is very likely, then then okay okay we'll be at two. We'll have Willis and Wright, who are very good centre backs. I think probably some of them weren't the player for, for the back, which probably end up being or nine Willis, Wright, and Hume. It's a very good defence. Probably up there were one of the best in the league, I would say, on paper anyway. But still, only two centre backs because we released. I think we released four. It was um, Baldwin, Smith, Lynch, and Oster who all left. I again, I don't know why we got rid of Baldwin. I think Baldwin unfortunately. I think Baldwin's very unfortunate. He, I, I, I think he's definitely up there. I think before that game against Coventry, he was definitely up there with some of the best centre backs in the league in eighteen nine, the league one in eighteen nineteen, before the Coventry game. Obviously, that Coventry game ruined his career. That's all I'm aware. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at I'm looking at the youth players who've kept. I'm trying to think of all the uh, centre backs I recognise. Um, I don't really recognise many. I think Brandon Taylor might be one. I don't really recognise many centre backs. And John Hunter, I think, one. He's playing. He's playing fucking South Shields this season, so he's clearly not ready. Barry Mumba might be leaving as well. I mean, it's, just, it's an absolute disgrace the fact that we've released six players at once. We've released a further two. That's eight. And we've and we've got rid of like half of. And we've, we've we've got rid of like half of the youth academy. You know, you know. I'm, I'm looking at now. We've got rid of like half the youth academy. You want another been another two centre backs. So it's been Jack Bainbridge and Michael Collins. They've both left. So our squad is very thin. I mean, obviously. The transfer window hasn't officially opened yet. I think it does first of July. Like like when it officially opens, we're screwed. We are genuinely screwed. I mean, unless we have a miracle, this transfer window, which which apparently is gonna be I think the longest one ever. I think it's open until about October apparently. We're absolutely fucked because we've got no quality in that team. Literally, our best player is Chris Maguire, and then after him, I mean after him it's a debate. But our team. It's thin, and out comes a mess. We could be we we are genuinely screwed. And again, our number one, I, I, I've been on looking at Instagram. People are like, oh yeah, we'll, you know, and the whole goalkeeper situation. Uh, people are like, oh yeah, we'll, we'll just use Lee Burge and Anthony Patterson. That, that's a big risk. That's a big, that's a huge risk. Obviously, Lee Burge. I think I, 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 don't, I don't know how many, how many games did he play this year? Like three. And those include they won no defeat at Jellingham. A final one of Tranmere, but I mean, in that game, if I remember rightly, he, he, did, uh, he, he, he didn't do anything because, because I remember we absolutely destroyed Tranmere in that game. And I think it was the league game before, I was trying to, I think it was against Wickham and we lost 1 0. So, 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 obviously, the three games he played, he only kept, he, he conceded, he lost two of those games. I mean, he might have been alright at Coventry in League 2, but for a first team goalkeeper, for a team looking for, um, to get promotion next year, he is not going to be good enough. And Anthony Patterson. I mean, he's, he's made like one proper appearance now. I was in the playoff final. Where he, I mean, he, he didn't even come on. We are screwed, guys. We are genuinely screwed as a football club. And I am scared for next season. We could end up getting relegated to League 2. That's how thin our squad is. But again, you know, it could be it could be okay. It, we could have a good transfer window. But again, I don't know. Anyway, ran over. That's, that's all I've got time for today, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, smash the like button. If you're new, subscribe. Send your name and future content. Turn notifications so you get notified the second I upload video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.